going to teach us how to make hot chocolate while I grill her and Julia about science communication things. Julia, what are you doing? Gonna attempt to help? Okay. I will supervise. Okay. First thing, open the milk. You... You're blocking my... Yes, <laughs> there we go. Sometimes you just like this. It's fine. This is going so well. I have opened the milk. So now we want to pour three mugs into here. With movie magic, we just chopped up a bunch of chocolate. Cat in a frame because the internet loves cats. The internet does love cats. Mm -hmm. uh, cat or dog? Dog. <gasps> Even though that cat wants to, I like that cat because it wants to be a dog. Oxford or London? Oxford. Chocolate or coffee? Chocolate. I hate coffee. UK or EU? Too soon? <laughs> At the moment, the UK is still in the EU because we haven't invoked Article 50, so therefore EU includes the UK, so EU. Ha ha. Favorite scientist of all time. Oh shit. Hamilton. Bill Hamilton. Bill Hamilton? Yeah. I don't know Bill Hamilton. You don't know Bill Hamilton? Who? Bill Hamilton did Hamilton's rule. And that is the conditions under which any behavior will evolve. Any oh. behavior at all. Oh. Oh. So it's basically saying that the benefits of an action must outweigh the costs of an action and that relatedness is also involved. In fact, I made a video about Hamilton's rule. Favorite model organism? Drosophila. Least favorite model organism? Drosophila. Just from exposure? Yeah, it's... Are you drosophila it out? I'm very drosophila out. There's only so much you can do on one organism. I miss my drosophila. They were fantastic. What did you do on drosophila? So I did a big RNA ice cream looking for genes involved in chemoreception, uh, specifically nociception. So I did a lot of feeding fruit flies wasabi. Make their fly mouths burn. We did. It was so sad. We hid it in sugar water and they'd put their legs on it and think it was sweet and then extend their proboscis and then they'd touch the wasabi and like yeah. freak out. Wow. You That's a lot of flies. I'm kind of impressed with you by right now. Uh, Chocolate versus vanilla? Chocolate. Mm. Tropical vacation or Icelandic vacation? I've done tropical, I've not done Icelandic, so Icelandic. Okay. Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Oh. If you could only regram on Instagram. That's Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, I don't tumble. I tumble a lot. Alright, our milk, our milk is kind of... You want to give it a stir so it doesn't burn on the bottom. I'm just stir. <laughs> if you could make one video that you have yet to have the resources to make, what would it be? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, if by the resources you meant a good singing voice, I would make another um, singing video. I okay. really have so, I have so many ideas for parodies. I already have, I think, two parodies written, um, but I just can't sing well enough or edit music stuff enough. Look at me helping coach. You're helping so well. Thank you. In your time as a scientist so far, mm -hmm. in grad school, mm -hmm. biggest lab disaster? Ooh. So before I, when I was wearing ladybirds and I didn't know how to rear them, I put them in petri dishes and it turned out that they could escape the petri dishes. So I lost no. a good half of them. Oops. Um, yeah, because they're little black larvae and it's the larvae I was working with, not the adult beetle. Um, so they could escape that. What's your biggest mistake? I think my most expensive lab mistake, um, I was using a robot that had a head that came down into a plate and it had 96 little pins that went into the plate and I did not put the plate incorrectly at one round and it snapped off one of the pins. Aww. And the pin itself on the robot was $16. Uh, the tech who came out to put on the $16 pin was $2,000. Yeah. And so during one of my rotations, I cost my lab $2,000 yeah. for breaking the robot. Mm -hmm. We're going to that. Some. Let's play it by ear. That's quite a lot. Let's hope it's the right one. So science is done, right? You yeah, just just throw just in. So as a final question, okay, if you could take the credit for and rediscover any discovery in science, what would mm -hmm. it be? So would the person who originally discovered it, would they still have? No, you. So they'd be wiped out. They'd be wiped out. Okay. Oh, that makes it really interesting then. 
So yeah, my initial reaction was I'd replace what's an acrylic because they're a bit of jerks and obviously you all know the story of doing it anyway. Um, but then Franklin also wouldn't get the discovery, it'd still just be me. So I'd just be replacing one woman with another. It says Newton and Calculus. Oh, that's a good one. Because Lane has also discovered Calculus at the same time, so I'd also be scooping him. But Newton was a bit of an ass. So, an S. Um, so, yeah, maybe that, because everyone uses calculus, right? Yeah, oh yeah, and calculus he, he, so he much. had so many other discoveries as well. He can get rid of that one. It wouldn't be, like, completely get rid of it. No. He would have other things. Right. But he has gravity. He can keep gravity. Yeah, that's fine. But I would keep calculus. I think I might still steal DNA. Would you, though? I might. Do you not want to take Mendel? Oh. You know, I always kind of like that story yeah. because, like, I kind of want to just like go off into a monastery somewhere and just and like just watch peas, watch peas, mm -hmm. and just watch. Yeah, actually, I think I'd be Mendel. Okay. All right. So I'll be Mendel like Newton. That sounds good. We'll have hot chocolate. All right. And if you want to watch us, if you want to watch me interviewing Alex uh, whilst drinking said hot chocolate. Yes. Um, and me getting in the way. Julia also getting in the way. <laughs> Uh, you can come over to this video, which will be in that corner. Yes, we'll put it. We'll one put it, one it, one it, we'll put it somewhere. Which corner. You'll be able to click it. Yes, so you should go watch that video. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making us hot chocolate. That's I'm right. excited to drink it. Cool. Go See for you later. it. And to do science. That's not right, is it? Is that right? Oh no, it's it was oh, that. It was I don't even do that anymore. But yeah, that's. Okay. I like that you went with the book inside. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. It's fine. It's I love you in sign language. Is it? It is. American sign language. Yes, American sign language. Yeah. Everybody everybody comments on it that it's like devil horns and I'm like, no. I mean I think that is also devil horns. It's I love you. I know that that is um so this is bull in British Sign Language. Oh. So this is you can imagine what this is in British Sign Language. Oh. Yeah. Um so so yeah, I think that is like a bull.